про ситуацію. Now information about the situation in the ATO zone and Drilisin Ministry of Defense of Ukraine and ATO related issues. Welcome. Good afternoon, dear colleagues. Now information about the sectors and then we will tell you about training of Ukrainian armed forces in the firing grounds. The Lugansk sector yesterday, military actions were in the region of Bakhmut Road in Krymske Novotoshkivka part of front line. And uh, in these positions, there was escalation. And right after midnight, the occupants delivered two short mortar shellings in Novotoshkivka. And uh, they delivered fire from two different positions. And then the enemy made a pause and restarted shelling after 8 p.m. And uh, during three hours, the militants launched at our positions 100 motor mines and also actively used small arms. Ukrainian forces, they returned fire repeatedly. And during the last 24 hours in the Lugansk sector, the enemy delivered nine powerful shellings, including six with the use of heavy weapons. The Donetsk sector, the enemy violated ceasefire along the front line. Military action started after 2 p.m. in Avdiivka and Piski. The enemy used mortars and armored vehicles and all shellings delivered by the occupants were rather long-lasting from half hour and more. On the whole, during the last 24 hours in the Donetsk sector, the enemy violated ceasefire nine times. Twice, the enemy used heavy weapons. Ukrainian forces four times returned fire. The Mariupol sector. Three main flash spots were Staragnatyevka, Novomikhailivka, and Talakivka. In the majority of cases, the enemy used small arms. Ukrainian forces six times returned fire. And uh, on the whole, in the Mariupol sector yesterday, there were 12 enemy shellings, including one mortar shelling. During the last 24 hours, as a result of active military actions, fortunately no Ukrainian serviceman was killed, but one serviceman was wounded. This incident happened in Krymske in the course of enemy shelling. According to information provided by Chief Intelligence Department of MOD, in single operative background and with one plan, along with the strategic command and staff training of the armed forces of Russian Federation West 2017 in occupied territories of the east of Ukraine. They carry out command and staff training of Russian occupation forces. And at the same time, the preparation to this event is recognized as not satisfactory. And uh, when the columns of uh, servicemen were moving, they, uh, these cars ran out of fuel and uh, they stopped uh, this move uh, to the firing ground and now investigation is ongoing to identify who stole the fuel. And in Valing, um, the, uh, they detained a man with two battle grenades. Uh, this man was drunk and uh, he was detained and the ammunition was confiscated in Kharkivshina. They completed field training for sapers of military units of East Territorial Unit of the National Guard. The topic of the training is to improve practical skills of military personnel to reveal, demine, and deactivate explosive devices. In Chernigevshina, artillerymen held a training to destroy land targets, and they completed firing tasks with a change of firing positions and during different hours of the day. And uh, among the servicemen, there were many who served in war and also those who completed contracts recently. And uh, a lot of attention was paid to the newly recruited servicemen. And in Valing, um, they hold the training for the crews of air forces. Um, they were trained in bombing and launching rockets in the firing ground, and uh, they are trained uh, in um, 
during the day and at night, and um, they train young pilots in different types of weather conditions and in the conditions of rapid change of battle situations. Thank you.